Hey guys, it's Miss Susie. We miss you so much. We hope you're doing very well at home. And we're gonna have story time. But before we have story time, I have something to show you guys. But I'm hiding it in my hand. And in order for you guys to see it, you have to take three deep, big, big, big breaths. Are you ready? Ready? Breathe in through your nose. And now, do it again. One more time. Do you guys see this? What do you think it is? It's a little squishy and it changes whenever you squish it. It goes you could make it longer and then it goes back to normal. But this one's a little bit special because when it's dark, it glows in the dark. I won't be able to show you because you can't really see it on camera. But it's super, super cool. So for today's story time, we are going to read. Do you guys remember this book? Remember the front cover of the book is here, and this is the back. And the title of this story, let's see if you guys remember. The Big Orange Splot. And who is this guy in the window? Mr. Plumbing. I love this story. So we're gonna read it again. The Big Orange Splot by Daniel Manis Pinkwater. Don't forget, you always have to read who the author is because the author is super important. It's a person who wrote all the words in the book. They wrote the story. Without them, we wouldn't have this amazing story. The Big Orange Splot by Daniel Manis Pinkwater. Mr. Plumbean lived on a street where all the houses were the same. He liked it that way. So did everybody else on Mr. Plumbean's street. This is a neat street, they would say. Then, one day, a seagull flew over Mr. Plumbean's house. He was carrying a can of bright orange paint. No one knows why. And he dropped the can, no one knows why, right over Mr. Plumbean's house. Oh no. So over here, can you guys see the appearance of all the houses? They're the same. It made a big orange splot on Mr. Plumbean's house. Oh, too bad, everybody said. Mr. Plumbean will have to paint his house again. I suppose I will, said Mr. Plumbean. But he didn't paint his house right away. He looked at the big orange spot for a long time. Then he went about his business. The neighbors got tired of seeing that big orange spot. Someone said, Mr. Plumbean, Plumbean, we wish you'd get around to painting your house. Okay, said Mr. Plumbean. He got some blue paint and some white paint, and that night he got busy. He painted at night because it was cooler. When the paint was gone, the roof was blue, the walls were white, and the big orange spot was still there. Then he got some more paint. He got red paint, yellow paint, green paint, and purple paint. In the morning, the other people on the street came out of their houses. Their houses were all the same, but Mr. Plumby's house was like a rainbow. It was like a jungle. 
it was like an explosion. Guys, see, his house is different. He has transformed his house from looking the same like the other ones to looking totally different. There was the big orange splot, and there were little orange splots. There were stripes, there were pictures of elephants and lions and pretty girls and steam shovels. The people said, Plum Bean has popped his cork, flipped his wig, blown his stack, and dropped his stopper. They went away muttering. That day, Mr. Plum Bean bought carpenter's tools. That night, he built a tower on top of his roof, and he painted a clock on the tower. How cool does his house look? The next day, the people said, Miss Plumby has gushed his mush, lost his marbles, and slipped his hawser. They decided they would pre pretend not to notice. How do you think they were feeling, Plumby's neighbors? You think they were happy or did they seem bothered? Did they kind of seem annoyed? Should they be annoyed? That very night, Mr. Plumby got a truck full of green things. He planted palm trees, baobabs, thorn bushes, onions, and Frangy Panny. In the morning, he bought a hammock and an alligator. When the other people came out of their houses, they saw Mr. Plumby swinging in a hammock between the two palm trees. They saw an alligator lying in the grass. Mr. Plumby was drinking lemonade. Do you guys see he had an alligator? Is an alligator a good pet? No. Plumby has gone too far. This used to be a neat street. Plumby, what have you done to your house? The people shouted. My house is me and I am it. My house is where I like to be. And it looks like all my dreams, Mr. Plumby said. The people went away. They asked the man who lived next door to Mr. Plumby to go and have a talk with him. Tell him that we all liked it here before he changed his house. Tell him that his house has to be the same as ours so we can have a neat street. Should Mr. Plumbee change his house back to look the same as his neighbors? Why do you think that? I think he shouldn't because it's his house. And that's him. His neighbors should just mind their own business. The man went to see Mr. Plumby that evening. They sat under the palm trees, drinking lemonade and talking all night long. Early the next morning, the man went out to get lumber and rope and nails and paint. When the people came out of their houses, they saw a red and yellow ship next door to the house of Mr. Plumbing. Whoa, what did the neighbor transform his house to? Yeah, isn't that cool? What have you done to your house? They shouted at the man. Should they be shouting at the man? Should they be worried about why this guy changed his house? No, they should just leave him alone. My house is me and I am it. My house is where I like to be. And it looks like all my dreams, said the man who had always loved ships. He just like, he's just like Mr. Plumbeam, the people said. He's got bees in his bonnet, bats in his belfry, and knots in his noodle. Then, one by one, they went to see Mr. Plumbean late at night. They would sit under the palm trees and drink lemonade and talk about their dreams. And whenever anybody visited Mr. Plumbean's house, the very next day that person would set about changing his own house to fit his dreams.
this person made their house into a hot air balloon. This one looks like a castle. This one looks like a castle too. Look how gorgeous. Whenever a stranger came to the street of Mr. Plum Bean and his neighbors, the stranger would say, this is not a neat street. Then all the people would say, our street is us and we are it. Our street is where we like to be. And it looks like all our dreams. The end. If you guys can change your house or make your own house, what would it be? What's your favorite, favorite thing in the world? And if you guys could create your house to be that, if you guys could draw it for me, that would be great. And post it on Homeroom. Love all you guys. Bye-bye.